welcome back guys so let's see in this video how we can dual boot chrome os with windows and this is gonna be a super easy method without any usb or linux mint so let's get started so first we're going to open the power cell in admin mode and here we will type wsl space dash dash install and this is gonna install the framework that we need to like use ubuntu so we have to install ubuntu it will install the uh, virtual machine platform and it will at last it will also install the ubuntu and in ubuntu we can run the commands like we run in the actual linux mint and after if you go to your app list you can see the ubuntu has been installed and you can open up and then you can create your username and a password and type in a password and the Ubuntu will be ready to use you will see your username now we will type sudo apt update to update all the libraries and stuff it will ask you for your password and it will fetch the update now we will create partition so search for partition and open this create and format hard disk here i already have a 20 gb partition that i have made by shrinking the d drive i'm going to delete this partition i have made it by shrinking the d drive so you can just shrink and the minimum it should be the partition size 16 GB so I've made a 20 GB partition you can make more as well I'm going to create a new volume I'm going to name it as Chrome OS so it's easier So now we have new F drive named Chrome OS. As you can see we have F drive named Chrome OS and in here we will create a folder as well named Chrome OS. It will help us later. So create a folder and name it Chrome OS. Now we need to download the actual recovery image so go to this website and into the like under the recovery images download the latest one and the ramus is for uh, the intel if you have ryzen processor go for zork and amd should go for uh, the grunt and also we need to download this uh, sebang branch file so all these links will be in the description and then we also need the grub to win to make the grub boot like the boot menu so download this as well so we have all the three files and we'll use a 7 zip you can also use winrar to extract these so first we're going to extract the the branch framework so it's going to first extract it extract it as a tar then we're going to extract it again to get the actual file okay so now you can delete the uh, the primary file that we had downloaded 
now we need to extract the the recovery image as well so seven zip and extract here so we will get the dot bin file So now we'll go to Ubuntu and we need to type some commands. So we need to mount it to the folder there the file is. So I've copied all the files into a Chrome OS folder. So you need to CD, MNT and the drive and your folder name. So for mine it is D drive downloads and Chrome OS. So same, similarly you can also mount it to the place where the downloads are all the three files. And in that directory, we will run this command. Run this command: sudo bash chrome os hyphen install dot sh hyphen src, and the name of your recovery. So after chrome os hyphen install dot sh hyphen src. So we need the recovery image name so just go to the folder and select your recovery name the image and copy the name and paste it then space hyphen DST and now we need to mount the the partition that we have created so for me it is the f drive and the chrome os folder so you can see this is the f drive and under inside it is the chrome os folder so f drive and chrome os for you it can be uh, like different then finally we need the hyphen s and space we need to uh, like uh, type in the size so for my it is 20 GB partition and for you if it's 30 GB you can type 30 but mine is 20 so I'm going to type in 20 so make sure you type in correctly and then you will press enter and it's going to take a lot of time to create the partitions and everything so make sure you run this command carefully It will take a lot of time but you will see something like this so you need to type in dual boot it's asking you so if you want to dual boot we need like we want to dual boot so we will type dual boot and enter then it will give us this command mount volume under the uh, apostrophe so we need to copy the copy it for you it will be something different but it will something like this so we need to copy it then open the power cell in admin and we will paste it and after pressing enter you, we will see something like this so under the brackets only we need the numbers and hyphen so inside everything on the bracket we will copy and paste it in this command and hit enter it will create a menu entry file that it will save into the the partition that we have created for chrome os so we can check that later and also make sure your hibernation fast startup and uh, bit locker is disabled now we will extract the grub 2 win the zip that we downloaded and we will install the exe So installation will take some time it will run some background checks and also you need to make sure your secure boot is off so from bios menu make sure your secure boot is off otherwise the grub 2 win doesn't uh, like install successfully so you need to disable your secure boot so you can see in the partition we have the grub menu txt
it is doing some checks it's a pretty long process and but you see this green sign it means it's good to go So here is the menu entry file. You have this uh, interface open for grub to win. We will copy this menu entry of the txt file. We will copy all of it. Now we will go to manage boot menu and we will create a new entry. We'll name it as Chrome OS and under type we will select user section create user section and then we will paste the the command that we have and save it and then we can just apply and OK and it will be successfully done. Now we will just restart our computer in the BIOS menu. So for my HP laptop is uh, already starting I will press escape for you it can be different you can just google it and it will give these options I'm going to press F9 for boot and device options and here you will see your grab to win we'll select this this is the menu entry that we created and using the arrow keys just go down and you will see chrome os and we will select chrome os and the installation will begin so it will show you this loading branch framework and after some time you will see this root fs is being rebuilt and it will take a lot of time so you have to have patience and after some time you will see your chrome os logo you can select your language and set it up and you can see I am connected by Ethernet you can connect to a Wi-Fi and I am going to set it up and I will see you in a bit this is the chrome os you can see the google assistant is working and this is the play store and this is the quick toggle area so yeah that was it for this video i hope you like this one and this is a very easy method to try it and let me know in the comments and i'll see you in the next one